Hi, I'm Nicole Gerard, a biological technician at Cape Cod National Seashore. We are doing a frog call survey tonight, which is part of our inventory and monitoring program. I'm Ben <laughs> Gottsacker, uh, I'm an SCA intern. Um, and yeah, you'll see a little bit of our what we do tonight. Nicole and Ben don't have a typical schedule. They work into the night throughout the spring and summer to monitor some of Cape Cod National Seashore's most vocal residents frogs, and toads. Eight species of frogs and toads, collectively called anurans, make their home at the seashore. Bullfrogs, green frogs, and pickerel frogs are aquatic and spend their lives in and around permanent freshwater ponds and wetlands. In contrast, spadefoot toads, fowler's toads, spring peepers, gray tree frogs, and wood frogs are terrestrial, except for the breeding season. For most of the year, they live and feed in the forests and dunes. In spring, they migrate to ponds and wetlands to lay their eggs. Many use vernal pools, which are temporary ponds filled by spring rains. The eggs hatch into larvae and transform into adults in early to mid-summer. Playing an important role in local food chains, anurans are highly sensitive to disturbance and are significantly threatened by human impacts. Because amphibians have declined in many areas, biologists at Cape Cod National Seashore regularly monitor the status of their populations here. It is difficult to count every individual frog and toad in an area due to their small size, cryptic coloring, and evasive behavior. So one of the ways in which scientists at the seashore monitor anurans is by listening for their calls on spring and summer nights, when their populations are concentrated around breeding ponds and they are most actively calling. Each species has a distinct call, and the densities of these calls can be used to estimate relative abundance. This is the call of the eastern spadefoot toad. And these are spring peepers. In the spring, when the concentration of anurans is highest, a loud chorus of several species can be heard. So that'll be a zero for sky cone. And we have a key basically raiding. Braving the mosquitoes, mud, rain, and heat, Nicole and Ben monitor anurin calls at 30 different sites in the park to get species distribution and population size. They also record atmospheric conditions, air and water temperature, and ambient noise. All frogs. We have a call index, and we'll rate them all zero to three. Zero being we don't hear the species, um, and one to three is basically an index of estimating how many of that species we hear at a given site. With one being very sporadic in the calls, two being slightly overlapping calls, and three being a whole chorus. Monitoring anurans tells us the status of their populations in the park. It also helps park resource managers protect them during their annual migrations and ensure that critical habitat is maintained for future generations of frogs, toads, and other wetland-dependent species. Continued monitoring will enable the seashore to determine if there are any trends in the status of these ecologically important animals. If you're near a pond on a spring or summer night at the seashore, make sure to listen for our resident anurans.